Hey everybody, what's going on? My name is Omega Gingy, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. Alright, so what we're we doing? Oh, right, right, right. We we're doing the, uh, I rebooted the character, and, um, we're at the Tiefling's place right now. <clears throat> and I have a kitty on my lap. Right, right. Oh, yeah. I also beat up the guy at the beginning of the game, so I got his sword. Which is fucking cool. Alright, tool zips are on. Good. I have so much shit I gotta get rid of. Seven, seven, seven. You know, okay. I have a bow for him just for the hell of it. I like my sword, it's a lot better. What's next, I wonder? We don't even know these people. Of course it does. Two to seven. seven. Can we stop shouting? Two to seven. No? Yeah, you can tell they haven't fixed that. Oh, that's bludgeoning. Yeah, okay, that's whatever. Huh? What about you? What do you got? You're using one single dagger, right? Yeah, dagger. Can I give you another dagger? Yes, I can. Range, any other neck? Got gloves. Calm down, please. Okay. I won't leave them behind. You're going to get us killed. Warriors. Hmm. Indolence breeds madness. Okay. Yeah, she's good with her sword. Fuck, man. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Talk to him. Refugees, adventurers, no one in years, and suddenly we're overwhelmed. Well met. And thank you for beating back those goblets. Most brave of you. Is there anything Thanks. you need? Act fast if you do. The ritual will be complete before too long. Uh, looking to trade. Yeah, oh, there you go. Just want to drop off my lovely loot and then save. Stuff like that, I'll save, but I'll try not to like save scum and. Do stuff like that. Children. Look who's here. Go on. Give me Oh, I didn't mean to skip that. My bad. Not bad. Again. I can't do it. I'm not like you. Oh me. I don't need you to be like me. You just have to buy enough time to run. Come on. I believe in you. You can do this. Ah, that is good advice, child. You deserve to listen. Hmm. You're on the You'll right do well to listen. Me. Go on now. Practice what you've learned. Well met. The blade of frontiers at your sh The man's smile bends downward, and his thoughts become yours. You are the blade of frontiers racing through the wastes of Avernus. Just ahead, a diabolical figure, red skin, single curled horn, blazes with flame, bloodied great axe held high. <sighs> Hell. 
Hell's great fires. You were on the ship. Yes. And we both carry parasites. Mm. Doomed to shed our skin and become a lithid, or so the stories go. But we haven't sprouted any tentacles. Not yet, anyway. Could just be good luck. I'm not so. Your minds collide once more. Will chases the fiend ignited with rancor. She is an infernal war devil. A threat to the living. Evil incarnate. Shit! You saw her. Advocatus Diaboli. Advocatus Diaboli. A devil's advocate. A champion in the blood war between diabolical forces and demons. Huh. Hunting in the hell, dangerous territory. Oh, actually, I like this. Devil's advocate. Do you think she'll bring the blood war to Pharaoh? That ship sailed the sticks already. All I can hope for is to limit the damage. Her name is Karlak, an archdevil soldier I swore on my good eye to kill. I tracked her through the hells to the Mind Flayer ship, but the damned Elithids infected me before I could end her. She's out there now, preying on the innocent. I don't kill her, she'll leave behind nothing but a trail of corpses. That joins forces. I'm looking to. Uh, I'm looking to cure this infection. I should just reparty up. Just so you know, my first duty is Karlak. I'm oath bound to go after her, but I won't deny this infection is bothersome. I accept your invitation. You'll need to make room if you want to partner up, though. Still, when the time comes, call for the blade. I won't be long to answer. All right, go to my camp and wait for me. We'll talk more there. I saw you at the gates. You fight well. A few words for the kids. Spare a story or two. Uh, be a strong and watch over your kin, and trust there is victory. Thanks. I prefer when they smile. No problem. Glad I can help. You're all gonna die. All right. Oh yeah, that reminds me. I have. Whoop -doo -doo. Yeah. It really sucks that that has like a thing where you have to keep putting that on. Be gone. I am hungry. Oh, okay. Well, fine. Fuck you then. That's curious. Huh. Another one. What are you under there then? Ant. Or rocks. Uh. Aurochs, describe me well, yes. Big and slow. The keepers of this place choose different forms. Better ones. They become birds. To hunt on the wing, bears to tear flesh with teeth. But for me, only oxen, only same old hay, and I cannot even eat it because the horned ones hide their shiny bits inside. Huh? Shiny bits. The tieflings put something in your hay. Hiding things. Thinking they're clever. Not clever. Sometimes I eat the shiny bits, and they have to go looking for them on the other end. Huh. This is about your precious borders gate. The waiting's getting to me. If we left, we... Uh -huh. You're addressing me? A humble ox. How quaint. Hmm. Arcane. Something's off. 
this creature isn't what it appears to be. Hmm, there is more to you than meets the eye. Care to explain? No. You are incapable. Hmm. Intimidation. Because I get a bonus. I'll tell you this much. I'm going to Baldur's Gate, with or without the rest of these poor sods. No. Uh, that's all I have to say besides, and I really mean this. Move. I'll move to you too. Move along. Uh, I mean, move. <laughs> Huh. Stares right past you as if you're invisible or boring. Yeah, turn around and see what you he's looking at. Out of the ordinary. As you turn back, the child slips between the rocks. Hmm. Investigate. Hey, success. You find the edges of a concealed entrance. Hmm. Wonder, can I talk to Sylvie? Oh, um, I... I don't have any money or anything to sell. My p partner does that. So what's your side of the business? What? Um... I'm the guard. So don't steal anything. I'm watching you. Oh, okay. Never actually talked to her beforehand. Hold out your hand, mister. Let me show you something. Go on. Take this ring. It's lucky. Hmm. Call it. Heads or tails. Uh, so tails. Tails it is. See, that's the kind of luck you get from one of my lucky rings. I've got more where that came from. Real cheap too. Interested? Hold on, one coin doesn't prove anything. Okay, fair. Let's go again. Heads or tails? Call it. Tails. We got tails. There. Happy? Yeah, you Here, take it. your ring. One sec. That's what I got. I'll take those two things. And... You can have those. Well, I guess that's it. You bought. You suddenly feel something moving against your back, and turn. Hmm. I wonder. Okay, I'm gonna kind of save here because I just want to see, like, the options. So, detect thoughts, read your thoughts. You see her hand in your bags, and the shame in her heart. Something tells me thieving life isn't for you. I can't do this anymore, Mattis. I'm sorry. Uh, hey, are you here to trade, or...? Hey, your partner's a thief. Yeah, trade. Uh, is there anything I can... What the hell is this? Camp supply... Oh, a pitcher of beer. Well, I'll buy that. Can I not buy anything else? Like... 
I really wish there was a sell junk option. Bye, I guess. Uh, hey, are you here to trade? Yeah, I know. I was standing right here telling her to rob you. Oh, yeah? Are they bored to death? Look, you caught her. Good for you. You want a chump like everyone else around her. Now, do me a favor. Make room for the chumps. I, I should have went with the apology. But it's okay, it's okay. I'm gonna go in here. Well, look who's come to visit. My kids say you've been busy since you got here. And thanks for going easy on Sylphie. Not many marks would have done the same. Eh, happy to help. And we're happy to be helped. Now, what can I do for you? Hmm. Thought you might need help with something. I do, as a matter of fact. Revenge. I want to steal that big, shiny idol they're all chanting at. Hmm. I could help you with that. Huh? You know what? I'll see what I can do. Be careful. They look as brittle as old bark. But they're vicious. Anything else? Uh, do you have anything to trick? Fifty gold. What's this? Forty gold. You can have those two. And I'll take that. Oh. There were, oh, there were forty gold for bow. Oh. Anything else? Uh, why are you running all these schemes and swindles risky, you know? We're saving up for a better hideout when we get to Baldur's Gate. Why? You planning on telling me stealing is wrong? Uh, quite the opposite. I want to invest in the newest thieves guild on the Swords Coast. Won't turn down free money. I've got operating costs you wouldn't believe. Come see me in the city sometime, huh? I'll repay this and then some. See you around, maybe. Why not? Let's help, help the little children. Which is oddly kind of ironic because I tried doing that in the D and D campaign I'm doing, but with a bunch of elves that didn't understand a word I was saying to them. Please, last room. It is forbidden. Let my daughter go right now. She's a thief, hell spawn, and you will wait for Corga's judgment. Now get back. Ugh! 
Let me through, Ragrashev, or I'll rip your damn throat out! <laughs> Oh. All right. Uh, I think it's her. We need to get Arabella out now. You heard the guards. They're waiting on Corker to give word. I'd sooner trek through the nine hells than trust that snake. Ugh. I thought it happened. Why are the druids holding your daughter? Arabella tried to steal their idol. Druids lost their damn minds about it. They need it for their precious ritual. Oh, it's all my fault. I told her I wish the wretched thing would just disappear, or better yet, explode. Now Arabella's being judged by a bunch of druids who hate us. That's not right. She hmm. was caught. Foolish child. Let them judge her. Uh, she's just a child. The druids are overacting. I'll talk to them. Thank you. They won't give us the time of day. Hurry! I'm at the end of my tether as is. Can't take this waiting. <laughs> Come, Magrin. Give him a chance. You, get back. If it wasn't for me, you'd be overrun with goblins now. I'll go where I please. Force my hand and I'll show you its claws. A moment, Giona. What? Oh, I understand. You. Apparently, Korga wants to see you. Go ahead. Ah, uh, thanks. Alright, first we'll come over here, talk to this dumbass. Hi. Good friend, you were at the gates just now, no? When the goblins came, you saw them up close? A few questions, if you please. There's no overstating my interest. Fine, ask your question. Now then, oh, how would careful. you describe that particular batch of goblins? Size, nature, distinguishing qualities. You search your mind successfully recalling various details of goblin behavior. Hmm. Give an exact description. Goblins were of a rare jam-colored hue and wielded magic blowguns. A mythweaver. This man has no respect for truth. And the dragon they had marching in the rear, was it of the brass or silver variety? Hmm. It was brass, no doubt about Witness it. Witness mistook obvious silver dragon for brass. Last question, yep. and you'll be quite free. Did the attackers rally to the absolute when they fell upon the gates? Yes, they call that the name like a war cry. They did, didn't they? Oh, oh, curious. Oh, curious indeed. I've interrogated one, a captive in this very camp. She reports they've abandoned their god, Maglaviet, in favor of someone called the Absolute. The scandal! Goblin superstition. Oh. Not worth the ink and parchment. Ah, but is superstition all? These goblins are informed by a kind of strategy anathema to their kind. I, for one, intend to get to the bottom of it. I'm just preparing to head to their camp as we speak, in fact. If you'll excuse me, I ought not to dawdle. Uh, be careful, goblins are known for mercy. Oh, never you mind. Who needs mercy when you've a quick tongue, hmm? And... An invisibility potion stashed in your back pocket. Until we meet again. Indeed. Can I talk to the bear? Just a moment. This man is recording my story. I am far 
from home. As the colorful man starts scribbling, the bear sneaks a quick look at the page. His brow furrows. Incomprehensible squiggles surround a crude sketch. A bear disemboweling a clutch of tieflings. Huh. Is that the idol I'm supposed to be stealing? Oh, sorry, big babies. Could you move a little bit? I need to use the other one. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm so Whoa, okay. Apparently, I've decided to become one with the bear. I'm gonna try something. Okay, so I'm gonna be you, but have you break off from the party and then sneak. I'm trying to see if I can like smack him somewhere. The idol, it's gone, stolen. The time has come. Remove the outsiders. Oh, okay. Well, that was probably new dog. Yeah, that was definitely not a good idea. Okay, we're just gonna load that hellhole back up. So... <sighs> hmm... Okay, uh, yeah, let's not do that. Shh, I'm concentrating. Does this look good? Is the coin in the middle? Slightly off. Push it a little bit to the right. Yes, yes you're right. That's it. Oh. Yes. Yes. This is perfect. Hmm. 
Speak. Uh, I'm looking for a healer. Help me narrow the search. Find Nettie in her room. Through the carved door, deeper in the grove. Oh, thank you. Uh, what were you saying to that the bird? bird knows. She needs to know. You do not. Tell me. And a bonus. Nat fucking 20. Critical success. Please, not so loud. I'll tell you. But please don't do that again. <laughs> all follow Korga every day. They are afraid, and she offers a simple solution. Eject the refugees, and we will be safe. And she's wrong. Perhaps not. But that does not make it right. Only Master Hulsin can stop this. I pray my bird returns with news of him. If not, I fear. I hear the uh, I hear a ritual that can protect the grove. Are you helping prepare? I would prefer not to. But if Master Halson does not return, Korga will give the order, and my voice will not matter. Hmm. Yeah, I leave. Thank you. Madness, Korga. She's just a... A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. Hmm. Thief. Poison. What's this girl's actual crime? Girl. You mean parasite. She eats our food, drinks our water... Then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Teela is restless. Come, Korga. We took back the idol. Surely... Do it. Hmm. Tell us, Nate, to be at ease. The girl must not be... Silence. Home. I answer only to mistress. Hmm. Read Kaga's mind. Halsin is gone. I am first druid now. I will take control and prove my authority. Hmm. Barbarian intimidation. She's just a cub. Let her go or tangle with me. I... Very well. Sif, sif. Tila, to me. Out, thief. My grace has its limits. Uh, it hurts. Thank you, Korga. Master Halsin. Halsin isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Teela pierce it. Hmm. I know that look. You're wondering why I was in pain before. Let's just. Clear the air about that now. It's just an old wound that hurts me from time to time. Nothing to be concerned about. It's nothing to do with the tadpoles, at least, in case your imagination is in danger of getting away from you. It's just something I have to live with. Ah, how badly does it hurt? Quite a lot, if I'm being honest. 
But it always passes quickly, so I can manage. Are you sure it's not connected to the potatoes? You can trust me on that. All right, turn down the matters. I'll leave. doesn't respond. It simply bears its teeth. Oh. Huh. Everyone's frightened of something. Go on. Say it. You think I'm a monster? Well. Ah, you're protecting your own. Sometimes cruelty is required. First you urge Grace. Then you speak truth. You surprised me twice over. A shame the grace period ends. The viper's fangs have been bared. She must guard her brood. No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the rite is resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. Hmm. This right must be born of powerful magic. The right of thorns. It is the tree father's gift that none come to harm. When we speak the final prayer, the great vine will sprout forth. The grove will be cloaked in bramble and thorn. No one enters, no one leaves. Sanctuary. None of this can happen while outlanders infect us. Sylvanus demands that we choke them out. Hmm. I come on Zara's behalf. His people could perish if you force them out. And mine perish if he stays. You showed great metal at the gate. The metal of a skilled sword for hire. I want you to provide your services to Zevlor. Offer to guide the Outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the Viper must strike. Well, it seems I best speak with Zevlor. You'll do more than speak. This tale ends but one way. With the Outlander rot cleansed, and the grove forever shrouded. Wolfie! Uh, another stranger come to vex me. What will you do? Hunt me? Grab my tail? Shout until my head hurts? Who is pestering you? I'll teach them a lesson. Uh, I just wanted to give you my smell. I'll leave you be. No, wait. You smell fresh. Safe. You can stay, if you must. Can I talk to him some more? Focuses on you, calmed in your presence. Ah, oh, that's cool. Servant quarters. What the hell is in here? I see you. Just give me a moment. Wait patiently. There. It's up to her now. Life or death. Now, what was it you needed? Uh. I look in for Nettie. Her, but I still don't know what she can do for you. You didn't know anything about my flares? Why are you asking? A good way to put this. I uh, I have a tadpole in my a head. A tadpole? A mind flare tadpole? How many guys are there? It's not like a frog hopped into my eye. That's 
a serious condition. Come, follow me. I oh. might be able to help. Oh, sorry, kitty. We need to be quick. This Ow. way. Oh, kitty, that's a cotton. I know you're comfy on my leg, but at least be careful where you're putting your claws. This one had the same problem as you. Attacked us in the woods together with some goblins. Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. Hmm. Huh. Is everyone being captured by mind flares these days? Didn't think it was a common experience. Rather too common as of late. At least that's what Master Halson suspected. I pity you got me instead of him. He understands these things. Studied them. Still, we have options. You don't have to be here for this. Please, don't mind me. I'll just watch. All right. Let's see what we can do. Uh... What's the plan? Will it help? Shifts uneasily, hesitating. Something's off. It might. But first things first. Tell me about your symptoms. Have you noticed anything strange happening? I can merge my mind with anybody else that's infected. Victims can identify each other. Not that the others know they're victims, of course. How do you pick up the parasite? Halson was desperate to find where all this was happening. Oh, out of mind flare ship. I, can't, I I was kidnapped and infected. A mind flare ship? But Master Halson was sure. Look, you've been straight with me, so I'll be straight with you. You're dangerous. If you transform here, we're all dead. But you seem like a good soul. You deserve a chance to save yourself. Oh, yeah, totally. This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me, you'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. I thought you could cure me. What is the branch? What about the branch the of yours? Thorn? Coated in a fatal toxin. It was a last resort. In case I couldn't trust you. I don't have a cure. Only a way out. I'm sorry for misleading you, but I had to be sure you weren't a threat before I told you everything. Now, do I have your word or not? Uh, I swear. I hope it doesn't come to that, but thank you. Here. You know, I've spent my life treating folk and never once saw a mind flare infection. Then suddenly, there's dozens of you. Maybe more. Master Halson and I were tracking them, studying them, trying to figure out what the hell was going on. Because you should all be changing. There should be a small army of mind flayers out there. But you're not. Weird powers aside, you seem perfectly normal. Uh huh. You must have learned something from studying them. For one. That thing in your head is like nothing we've ever seen from Mind Flayers. It's one of their worms for sure. But this one gives you powers. Telepathic connections. And it doesn't turn you into one of them. Not yet, anyhow. Hmm. Uh, that's good news. Could be. But there's a lot we don't know. Infected, folks like you, have been converging on an old temple of Saluna. And I've no idea why. When Master Halson heard the adventurers were heading that way, he hmm. saw a chance to get answers. Joined on the spot. Whatever he found there, he didn't make it back. Uh, what do you want me to do? The thing is, I've sent birds to find him. But the place is rotten with goblins. None of us can even get close. 
you, though. You're one of them. Technically speaking, I mean. They won't kill someone carrying their parasite. If you can find Halston and get him out of there, we can discover what he learned. And perhaps he can save your life. How's that sound? All right. Thank you. It would mean everything to the girl. To me. I wish I could tell you what happened out there. But those adventurers were the only witnesses. And they're long gone. All I can say for sure ooh, ooh, is they ooh. all went to I the old you, temple kitty. of Saluna. And Master Halson didn't make it back. Good luck out there. And if things start to go bad, remember the vial. Remember your oath. Uh, yeah, sure. Oh. Come on. There's so there. Any word on Master Halson? Uh, no, but can we trade? What happens if I sell her the toxic? Oh. Very entertaining for the rest of us. <laughs> Not everyone subscribes to what is mine is yours, it seems. Oh. Sorry, I was just searching him. I can't do anything yet, because I think she... Alright. Please. I'm resting. Yeah, something took a trunk out of you. What happened? The bird says nothing. Trying to rest. Huh. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to disturb you. The bird says nothing. Only the sound of its labored breath. Fills the silence. You got this little birdie. That's what matters. You did well to speak up for the girl. That snake is fickle. A tragedy prevented. Uh huh. Uh, is there some sort of ritual going on? Meant to seal us in, meant to seal them out. Blasphemous! The tree father must see what's happening in his holy grove. Perhaps his eyes are on Master Halsin now. No one's looking for Halsin. I could do it. Would you? I would give anything to see Halsin return home. More like solid offer than anything. Our need is great. I will open the treasures of this grove to you, even if the circle forbids it. Halsin is an elf with the presence of a bear. He left west with the adventurers. You won't mistake the first druid for anyone else. Okay. Right. I love how I'm just still covered in blood. Like, my dude is just, like, coated in blood. You ever scare me like that again, and I'll feed you to a knoll. Mom, I'm fine. Stop it. Our little hellion told us what happened. Thank you. Don't know what we do without her. <sighs> this could have ended badly. Oh, no more finger antics, right, Arabelle? Yeah. I mean, thank you for helping me. No problem, Galad. I could. Also, why is that not on? Why is it coming up, turning off? Oh. It was fine. Yeah. There we go. Here we go. Stupid and reckless. Life 
lives are at stake, and the cowards only care about their bloody rituals. Ah, you know, it's sad and weird. Hmm. Thanks for fighting off those goblins. If you need to replace any gear, just ask. My selection's pretty slim. I had to leave most of my equipment in El Torel. Oh. Let's see your wares. Oh, some fancy stuff. Oh, what are you? Heavy armor. Heavy armor. Very light armor. What is that? Medium armor. This is better than my... Mine, but I don't have the currency right now. Well, then buy a threader. Are you a smith? Of Used to be a bread and butter tinsmith before El Torel fell into Avernus. Oh. These days, my talents are more eclectic. Learned a lot in my time in the Hells. Hope to forget most of it. But between you and me, there's nothing in all the realms like the utter power of infernal machinery. Alas, my offerings are far more humble these days. Ah, that's okay. Don't worry too much, my friend. Shop it all. Ooh, Mayship Prison. You ain't gonna shoot me. Your hands are shaking. Put it down. She can't fight back. That's the point. Get out of the way. She didn't kill your brother, Arca. You're better than this. Shoot before you lose your nerve, Tieflin. If you ever had it to begin with. Uh, step between the crossbow and the goblin. Looks like the Absolute sent me a protector. You're gonna kill him too. You move. Hmm. Read the thoughts of the Tiefling. All right, let's see if we got this. Ah, we don't have it. Uh. We're uh, we're just gonna not start a war. <sighs> Rather not start a battle to right now. Man, you think with the patches, they would have, I don't know, sped up the load time. Yeah, I already talked to her. Um, talk to the blacksmith again. Hey everybody, welcome to the last stream. Thanks for fighting. My selection's pretty uh -huh. slim. Yep. I Forge. Still learned a lot. Alas, my offerings oh, are fish. far more. I didn't buy anything. Save this time, so we, uh, if we do something wrong, we can at least try not to save scum, but at least try to not, I don't know, start a battle. Yep, no, boop, 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 boop. Shoot before you lose your Step between. You move. Barbarian intimidation. Take your shot. What do we get? Plus the four. And advantage, because he's a barbarian. What in every hell is wrong with you? A lot. I'm covered in blood Damn still. You. Damn it. 
I don't even Blood know how long my dude's been covered in blood. Die. But he's been covered in blood. Hmm. If she dies, she'll take everything she knows to the grave. If you believe anything the beast tells you, you're an idiot. I it's guess right, I'm an idiot. Okay. Let's go. Uh guess I'll uh can I can I can I not can I Can I highlight her? There we go. Ain't sure why you're protecting me. Don't care neither. It's too late to make friends walk me. My tribe's coming. They're gonna burn this pretty place for the glory of the absolute and hang you by your guts. Huh. Who is this absolute you're so fond of, your god? Goddess. We're burning her name across the face of the world, we are. The absolute is gold from the sky, she is. The blessing in the storm and the storm itself. Huh. An all power goddess that can't get you out of a cage. Maybe she sent you to help me. And you will. If you want to save your skin. And if the teeth stick a few arrows in us on the way out of here, don't worry. Priestess Gut will patch us up. Got a whole lab set up. Cooks up potions that fix our lads, no matter how much of a beating they take. Could probably stick your head back on if someone was to chop it off. <laughs> Mighty Booyog. A goblin healer. We really are desperate, aren't we? Huh. Nice story. Buy for a copper in a tavern nearby. It's the truth. I swear on your mother's grave. Get me out of here, and I'll tell you where to find her. Deal? You already told me what I need. I'll find the priestess myself. <laughs> Even if you did find my tribe, they'd set the wargs on you. You need me. Get me out of here, and I'll tell them what a good friend you are. Yeah, bye bye. Just gonna. Let me hear you, bunch of softies. Just gonna walk away from her. Um. What's this? By Mordai's eyes, another one. My friend's blood not enough. Come to rip me open too. In Kresh Kalir, a formal greeting begins with a bow. Is this monster with you? You heard the woman. Bow. <laughs> Lower. Yeah, that's enough, that's you. I'll take you from here. You dare interrupt. Has the tadpole ravaged your senses? Uh, enough, Lazo. You will be silent. You can breathe again. I won't let her hurt you. Thanks. What do you want from me? Information. Where did you see the girl? On the road to Baldur's Gate. N near the mountain pass. S saw us for we saw it. Jammed its blade through Yul's belly. Straight to the other side. And I just... I just ran. The map. Show me. Where the fuck did you pull the map out? Also, why is my guy still covered in blood? Huh. <laughs> Thanks for your help and apologies for my companion. No hard feelings. I honestly, I feel like I should have. Oh. 
I feel like I should have went with like the second body for the male. The last time a subordinate questioned my judgment, I ate tongue stew that very night. I warned you, didn't I? You ought to reconsider keeping her around before she causes real trouble. Huh. Subordinate? No. We're partners, and you'll treat me with respect. Kenyak, your tantrum proves you no wiser than a hatchling. The tea sling was clear. If there are Githyanki west of here, that must be our objective. Purification cannot wait. Huh. Say tea sling? I am unfamiliar with the. Well, I shall not say culture. Custom, perhaps. You will educate me on matters of this Fey run. No, no, it's Fey run. What do you mean? Uh, Perspiration. The crash holds the Zathisk. It will cleanse us of the parasite. By covenant, I can say no more. All right. Oh, yeah, I have to go over here and talk to Buddy to let him know about that. Is that everything? Oh, what the hell's over here? What are you selling? Why, hello, uh, oh! Is the talk of the camp. Thank goodness you came along when you... Oh! There isn't a bit of color in those cheeks, Petal. Are you harsh? Cold? Feverish. Auntie Ethel will sort you out. I've lotions and potions galore. Uh, let her fuss over you. Aha! Uh -huh. You take a sip of that and you'll feel right as rain, sweetie. What is this exactly? Oh, it's just a healing potion. Nothing fancy. Here. You just look like you might need a pick-me-up. I'm sorry to go on about it. But are you all right? You're looking awful peaky. Hmm. I'm fine. Just bone wavery after a difficult day. Yeah, I've been better. It's difficult to explain. Oh, I've seen it all. I once had a fella who'd been caught dabbling with a dryad. The wife was none too pleased and introduced him to a pot of boiling oil. But worry not. I fixed him up, and depending on the lighting, he looks good as new. My point is, whatever ails you, I promise I've seen worse. She is not to know of the... our ailment. Only a gith healer may make us pure. What is it, Petal? What's wrong? Oh. I got a mind flare parasite Does in my head. Count your adventure, Auntie Ethel nods along, her eyes wide. <gasps> you poor pet! My heart goes out to you, truly. I know what you I are, Auntie. No sign of a tentacle well, yet. I do, but, but he does. Change in an instant. You need help, serious help. I've never a potion or lotion here that could do it, but yes, I may have something at home. Huh. Such as I've collected some interesting bits and bobs over the years. You'll have to stop by my house just at the edge of the forest. Let me mark it on your map. I'll be heading back soon, so I can meet you there. Now, do you need anything? I have a few odds and ends for sale. Uh what harm? Show me your hey, bother. Huh, when she's tr trying to kill me. She's actually quite nice. So what did she actually give me? 
she gave me a potion of greater healing. Huh. Damn, what is this one? Potion of turns invisible and early for your attack. Uh -huh. Uh, here, I'm gonna tell you that. And then, what are you? Scroll of Revival, or I'll keep you. What are you? Speed. Hey, you can have that ale too. Be careful on the road. I'd hate if something happened to you. Take care, Peggy. Thanks, Granny. That was fun. Gotta save because, like, it, it the game is annoying that it doesn't save um, during like cutscenes or anything like that. Happened. Thank you for protecting the child. If the druids are this far gone, then it's not just goblins we have to fear. So we can risk violence here, or face it for certain on the road. Oh, wrong one. Quite the choice, isn't it? Uh, leave me in the grove is the best option I can help. It's good of you to offer, but there's a whole army of goblins out there. We'd need an army of our own to escort us safely to Baldur's Gate. And while I don't doubt your abilities, you're no army. There may be a way, though. Goblins are ill-disciplined. It's unlike them to organize so cleverly. Somebody must be leading them, bringing discipline to their ranks. Hmm. Take out that leadership, and they'll scatter. It's no small thing to ask, but I've seen you fight. You're equal to the task. Ah, kill, it, kill the goblin horde leaders. I'll see what I can do. That depends. Can you pay me? I suppose so. We don't have much, but we'll scrape together whatever we can. Make sure it's enough. Of course. Everything we have, anything we can give you, we will. We'll be ready to leave as soon as you give word. Okay. I like that plan. Okay, now what I'm gonna do quickly, go back to camp. I wanna I would have words with you. Oh, okay. Okay, what, what do you wanna have we words with? Again. Oh yeah, I have predicted. I shall be here in thy camp for whenever thou hast need of my services. Hmm. What kind of services can I uh, uh, care to explain while you're helping me? Be assured, it is not by choice. Okay. Can I service you the number? of the threads between life and death. Should thou or any of thy compatriots perish, I will cleave soul to body once more. Huh. You mentioned a cost. What a is it? Of coin. Uh, can you help me? Change? Oh. What if I don't have the coin right then now? I shall wait here patiently until it is acquired. Okay. Come. There are important matters to discuss. I suppose you've noticed I'm not terribly fond of wolves. 
They're ravenous predators with fangs like daggers. It's hardly an irrational fear to harbor. Don't be surprised if I'm reluctant to face any more. Everybody's got their own fears. I won't judge you. Really? Some might think it makes me a liability. In either case, it's not something I want to dwell on just now. Uh, we should get to know each other a little more. Must we? No harm in a little mystery, don't you think? Hmm. No, you don't want to talk about yourself? I should hope not. Have you ever heard the people who want to talk about themselves? I'm doing you a favor. Maybe I'd like to get you know better. <laughs> Sweet of you, but don't worry. I'm sure you'll get to know me just fine by traveling together. No need for interrogations just yet. Huh. That's what you prefer. I can respect Thank that. Thank you. I'm sure we'll get along perfectly well. Yes. All right, let's go over here and see if Magic Boy is okay. He's not lynched over, so he's perfectly fine. Don't need to talk to you. Don't really care about you. What I care about is over. Who the hell is over here? Oh, it's oh, it's him by himself. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Make me pretty, after all. Like... Um... Can I not change, like... I can't change his body or anything. Oh, that sucks. Me, oh, I'm guessing I have to change the class. Leave camp. Oh, right, I'm going this way. Huh, what? Please, I... I've been through enough. Oh, okay. I was like, what, I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? So, I wonder if I wait till, like... These tieflings prove fragile. I have a mind to end their misery myself. Calm yourself. They're survivors. Not soldiers. I fail to see the distinction. Huh. Oh, but like that. Oh, you think they'd at least, I don't know, clean it up? I'll be keeping an eye on you. Understand? If I choose to kill you, you will not even see it. Oh, goody. They're trying to kill each other. People up ahead. Something's wrong. Mm-hmm. Auto saved. Me, me saved. You're a true soul. You can't die. Please, stay with us. I don't think he's conscious. C can you hear us, Ed? You, not a step closer. Uh huh. The mark glows, but you feel nothing in response. Your illithid power is beyond reach until you rest. Oh. Uh. Well. That is it.
I got a 13. He's hurt badly. An oil bear got him deep. If there's anything you can do... I'm watching you. The injured man locks eyes with you. A familiar squirming churns in your head. Uh, hold his stare. Your minds intertwine. You see his siblings, Andrik and Brenna. New recruits. Yours to shepherd. Protect them. He is a true soul. Mind him. He will. He. He. Edwin! Ed! Please! He's with the Absolute now. You're... You're a true soul. Edwin, our brother. He was chosen. Like you. Do you have uh. orders for us? We were reporting to Edwin. Huh. We need to find the beast and avenge your brother. It killed one of us. It killed Edwin. It's an enemy of the Absolute. You're right, sir. The beast must be destroyed. The cave is just ahead. It was too much for us before, but... But if you could help us, Trusso, we may stand a chance. Yeah, okay. They spoke of the Absolute. Same as that goblin, Saza. Curious. Looks like the strange power resonates within the corpse. It calls to you. Your limbs move of their own accord. There's something of value, something your mind craves. Why let its host's memories go to waste? The tadpole has absorbed it all. Its experience could nourish you, strengthen you. Uh, let your body guide you. Welcome to Tadpole's influence. Well, he is already dead. I don't have the option yet to uh, use it. Well, let's go see an owl bear. Oh. Owl bear tracks. Aren't you worried? It's a nest must be nearby. I wish you'd listen. What's done is done. Oh, okay, they are here with me. That stench. Dead owlbear prey, no doubt. the quake of its heavy footsteps before you see it an owl oh we can already see it beaked face looming out of the darkness what's this something weak something tender won't oh. even have to chew you before i feed you to my son soft meat Uh, you're injured. There's a half a spear lodged in your head. It's a splinter. I've got a bigger threat than you with worse. Hmm. 
Allow me to leave. I'm no threat to you and your cup. Oh, got a ten evenly. You're small, weak. Killing you would be a waste of time. You can go, but you make one wrong step and I'll rip you to shreds. Uh, grabbing my move closer. Ah, oh, whatever. Double movement lost. Up oh, because of the tree. <laughs> Why? Come on, oh, can't stay idle. Fall by my hand. <laughs> I get rage and then it's just. Oh, okay. Command a halt. Oh, okay. What's he gonna do? Oh, he's just gonna jump. And dash forward. Let's end this. Take two. from you to his dead mother. Wake, hungry. A single strike will end his suffering. Let the creature live. <laughs> it hurts. Hungry, food. You watch speechless as the cub begins to eat his mother. Huh. That, or we've just prolonged its misery. Mercy, of course. Uh -huh. It's dead. We couldn't have done it without you. Thank you. I wish Edwin were here. He would have been honored to fight alongside you. What would you have of us now, sir? Presume your dude's near. Oh. Find the nearest stronghold and report on your mission. Edwin told us there was a camp of faithful goblins nearby. We'll find safe harbor there. He'd want us among friends. Absolute protect you. Oblivious to your presence, the cub continues to gorge himself on his dead mother. Well, kid needs to eat. That, that will fit in my pack. An owl bear egg. These are supposed to be worth a fortune. I didn't even see if that was even a good thing to have on. Let's see. Armor 14, medium. Armor 13. Oh. 
What's this? Okay. Uh, on a hit with a weapon to have possibly been flipped. Oh, why not? Throw those on him. easily hmm <clears throat> do you think you can search for you later I know they do not. It is my responsibility to cleanse myself. They pursued the Nautiloid. Perhaps they were trying to free you. A vain notion. I am one of many and will not be a burden to my queen. Huh. Why oh, yeah, I just those are my fluffy ass little boots in this thing. Vessel. If its occupant survived, then nowhere to be seen. Hmm. I wonder who it could be. someone who wronged you Wrong me how. what is the fucking oh, conversations say, this team is murder. having theft. killing is good it calls the weak but theft would be paid for painfully a thousand times over hmm good to know uh-huh I wonder what happened over here. Hey, it's just there. I was busy with the foul bloods in Elson's Grove. Sucker punching strangers. That sure bit, right? Oh. I was still sorry about that. Oh, well, you had to come. Wasn't any of your business, though, was it? Didn't think this contract could go any worse. Then you showed up. Alright. Uh, what was the contract? The kind that leaves half your crew dead. Come on. There's a wizard in Boulder's Gate that'll pay gobloads for a relic. Supposedly buried round these parts. But gold ain't any use if you're too cold to spend it. Ah, uh, let's... Let's say I want that gold. Where do I find the relic? It's called the Night Song. Supposed to be hidden under the temple where the goblins jumped us. I'd give you a map of the temple and wish you a happy funeral. But my mate Brian kept hold of it like his own sodger. Goblins made sure to the fat old chunk. All I've got's the contract. Can show you where we turn back. If you feel like dying. Uh, I heard the druid leaders went with you. As soon as he heard we had a contract to find that night song relic. He was more eager than a hound in heat. When the goblins jumped us, most of my crew scarpered, just like I taught them to. The old codger didn't. Uh, hand over the contract to be able to... Oh, I'll get the relic and save the druid. I'm just glad to be rid of the bloody thing. Happy hunting. Thanks. Come on. We're wasting time. 
Ah, uh, yes, you are. But it's this way, anyways. Really, what the hell is this way? Your sour face is tiring, Shadowheart. By all means, leave if I am so distasteful. I'd rather not turn my back on That might be worth a look. If it's not a chance, I'll fit in there. Oh, oh yeah, no, I'm not little. Oh, it's the puppy. Uh. Keep moving, stranger. Quietly. Ah, uh, what happened I told here? You to go. Yeah, barbarian roll. What do we get? Perhaps that's true. Your scent is thick with blood. Still, you should go. My friend is injured. He needs rest. I don't think he's going to wake up. Of course he will. And then we'll return home. What's your name? He calls me Scratch. You can do the same. What happened to your friend exactly? We were attacked. We're cackling furry things on two legs. And their smell. It was strange. Rotten. Evil. What's a gnoll? Those are the creatures he describes. Gnolls. Come on, you can travel with me if you like. No, I won't leave him. If he doesn't wake up, follow my scent. I have a can. If it comes to that, I may. Thank you. No problem, man. I'll take his stuff. Yeah, Liz. Uh, what? Uh, oh, it's like a dot or something like right there. It's like. You find well, but you're so efficient. Why not have a little fun? Fun. I fight oh, the cave. Win, not to make spectacles. <sighs> what a waste. Oh, I'm above the cave there. Hey, kitty, witty. We gotta stretch. Githyanki people have a word for men like the Blade of Frontiers. Shalak. Roughly translated, idealist do-gooder. Or better yet, benevolent burden. His confidence is an asset. His pursuit of valor, not so much. Um, yeah, I didn't care. I just wanted to... Loot the dead bodies. I don't care about that whole spiel. Do you have some on me? Well, well, boys. 
Looks like we got ourselves a trespasser. Don't bother running. My archer's got decent aim and plenty of arrows. The mark glows, but you feel nothing in response. Your lithid power is beyond reach until you rest. Huh. Spare them the trouble, I have no time for this. Apparently I have time. Here's what I'm thinking. We kill you, and I keep your ears to remember the occasion. Out of your guts. Oh. Oh, come here, all right, kitty. Oh. Oh. Okay. Did I just skip our turn? It fucking did. Oh, is it because we're all surprised for some stupid reason? Oh no! Hey, that was part of our turn. Are you gonna be like that? No, all right. All right. Well, let's see, fifty-five percent. I would know more sickness. Alright. On the way. Oh. Oh no! Oh yeah, her out of love. Let's do 
hope your soul is in good hands. <laughs> Feel death's cold grip. Be quick. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, I should have had him dash. Oh shit. Shouldn't have made me your enemy. One day I'll catch a break. You sniffing where you ain't ought to be, friend. Might have to take that nose. A strange symbol glows marked on their flesh, and something within you stirs in response. Hmm. Keen on dying, happy to help. Take is this warning, yeah? Step lightly around here. You're outnumbered. Mm hmm. What I should fucking do is that. Like what? Anybody to talk to? The Blade of Frontiers. Let's hope Will lives up to his name. We'll need all the help we can get. Mm hmm. Fine. What do you think of the journey so far? How am I holding up to your expectations? I must admit, you've been a surprise. And not an unpleasant one. Kindred spirits are few and far between for me. Besides, you saved my life aboard the Nautiloid. How can I do anything but sing your praises? Oh, thank you. Turn to other matters. We should leave. You don't sleep well. Flitting between dreams and nightmares. Maybe you wake up because you know something is wrong. Or maybe you just get lucky. Uh, hi. Shit. No, no. It's not what it looks like. I swear. I... I wasn't going to hurt you. I... I just needed... Well... Blood. There, in the dim firelight, you see him for what he really is. A vampire. A slave to sanguine hunger. Huh. How, uh, how long since you killed someone? I've never days killed anyone. 
Well, not the food. I feed on animals, boars, deer, kobolds, whatever I can get. But it's not enough. Not if I have to fight. I feel so weak. If I just had a little blood, I could think clearer, fight better. Please. A strange uh. sensation courses through you, and your companion's mind unfolds, secrets half revealed. Huh. I don't care how much you need, you are not drinking my blood. No. No, of course. Silly of me to even ask. I'll go and find something on four legs to eat, I suppose. See you in the morning. Let him go. You watch him stalk away, slumped, sulking, and ready to kill. Okay, what words do you need of me? Not this one, nor this one, and this one are less worthy still. What are you doing? Writing the balance. Beyond mortal realms, there doth exist an amalgamation of spirits akin to thine own, ensnared by the treacherous cult of the Absolute. Felled in its name. They bear great discontentment with their destiny. They don't say. For mere pittance of coin, I might summon the worthiest among them to lend aid to thy undertaking. Ah. Will these hirelings be joining me willingly? Most willingly, forsooth. Their passions doth run deep for what hath been wrought upon them. Huh. Do you think I can trust these cultists? Suspicion always haunts the guilty mind. My services are all that I can proffer thee. What thou wilt do with them is for thee to undertake. Hmm. I saw that pooty. There he is. Oh, make sure. Hope you're keeping well, friend. I'm sorry about what happened here, Master. Master. Friend. I stayed with him until... Until I knew he was gone. I'll never forget him. But I'm glad to have met you. Eh, hey, pet him. Last night's little unpleasantness hasn't left a bad taste in your... <laughs> in my what? Well, <laughs> I hope there are no bad feelings. No. Not at all. Having a vampire on our side could be useful. Indeed it could. These are very helpful in a fight. Of course, I can't summon wolves or turn to mist like a true vampire. Being a spawn has its drawbacks. Is that, you, is that how you can stay in the sun because you're not a true vampire? Oh no. I should be cinders in this light. I hadn't seen the sun for 200 years before we crashed here. Someone, or something, wants me alive. They've changed the rules. Huh. Standing in the sun, 
wading through a river, wandering into homes without an invitation. They're all perfectly mundane activities now. As for my other quirks, well, <laughs> we can figure those out in time. <laughs> hmm. Uh, what's causing this? The Mind Flayer's person? That's my theory, but who knows? I'm just glad you're being sensible about these uh, revelations. I was worried people might turn up with torches and pitchforks. Although there's still time. A vampire among us? So be it. But should I wake with so much as a drop of blood on my neck, I will end him. I'd just better not wake in the night to find fangs at my throat. Huh. I trust him. He won't hurt us. Quite the opposite. I'm here in the spirit of openness and honesty to work together as a team. Maybe we could get him to wear a bell, dissuade any nighttime prowling. There now. We're all friends again. <laughs> Shall we go? There's a long day ahead of us. Indeed. Can't talk to her just yet. Okay. Leave camp. Feed if you must, Astarian. But give me so much as a hungry look, and I'll drive a stake through your heart. Mm. I do so very like spicy food. <laughs> All right, she's more. I want to get that done. Because I want to swap out our little thief there. Look what we got here. Another little birdie wanting to fly. Stop this thing! <laughs> Flap those wings some more, and I'll feed you a worm. And you hope you got a stomach for rights. Hmm. The hell you doing here? What's it bloody look like? We're teaching this here pipsqueak to fly. Okay. Release the gnome at once. You want this little cave lurking what's it? Find your own. He's ours! As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Hmm. Actually, no. Your skull will make a fine chalice once I plug those broody eyes. No, you wouldn't be able. You're just, uh, um. The goblin's nostrils flare as if trying to judge you through smell alone. We're leaving. What about the gnome? Ain't we supposed to bring him to. I said we're leaving! <laughs> There's plenty of sport and rich pickings out there for us. Move it! <laughs> oh, wait. No, yeah, I'd rather not. Speak down. Oh, wait. Shadowheart's attention is fixed on a damaged old statue. What seems to be the problem? We should keep moving. Another episode? Why does it keep happening to you? You already know as much as I do. 
best ignore it. As long as it doesn't hamper us too much. Hmm. Oh, that happened at like the perfect timing when I lit that thing. I thought I did that by lighting the torch. You okay? No, go lay down on the bed. Huh. The hell is down here? I've actually never been down here, even on like my other playthroughs. Huh. What the hell? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm equipping those. Lay down, little one. The parasite is stubborn. It refuses both to leave or to allow itself to be used as you desire. Well, fuck. All right, yeah, that's up. Yeah, I've never been in there. Well, that's actually pretty neat to know that. Untie me. All right, all right. All right. Free him. Oh, bag of Kabara. There's pustulant thugs. Well, get on with it. You seem a little, oh. Seem a little confused. You saved me. Now you'll extort me. That's how this works, yes? I don't know how you got caught. Uh, my own fault, really. I should have dropped my pack and outrun those bastards. Alas. Take my pack, if you can find it. The only reason those goblins caught me was its weight. I'll travel lightly from now on. You're a little far from home to be here from a deep gnome. Ignorance is alive and well, it seems. Deep gnomes aren't restricted to the Underdark, you know. I've lived in Baldur's Gate for years. I'm in search of a friend. I fear he's in trouble. See this? I gave it to him years ago before I left home. I found it around the neck of a thug in the lower city. It was speckled with blood. My friend... Nowhere to be found. But I still have hope. I have reason to believe he's in the Underdark. Hopefully I'll pick up his trail from there. I always help my friends. On that note, <clears throat> I bid thee farewell. If we should meet again, well, we will have met again. Hmm. Um. Yeah. No, I think his pack is the one like that's over here. Lay down, Rishi Poo. Oh. 
Huh, I thought that was his pack. I wonder if his bag is somewhere else. Oh, needless. Needless to say, we're gonna go this way anyways. Wait, what the hell is that? Oh. Yeah, whatever. He's sleeping. I don't want to wake him up. I'm just gonna... Leave that alone. A beast fit for an ogre. You notice a peculiar dagger no. protruding from the top of the leathery meat. Go. Pull the day with all your might. Add bonus. Roll the dice. Um, you tug at the dagger until the blade snaps in two. The sharp end is still stuck inside the meat. Huh. Well, that probably wasn't supposed to happen. Whoa! My, my, what manner of place is this? A path to redemption? Or a road to damnation? Hard to say, for your journey is just beginning. What would suit the occasion? Hmm. The words to a lullaby, perhaps. The mouse smiled brightly. It outfoxed the cat. Then down came the claw, and that, love, was that. <laughs> they do know how to write them in Cormier, don't they? Well met, I am Raphael, very much at your service. Pleasure. Charmed, I'm sure, in more ways than one. We should have a chat, you and I, but not here. This quaint little scene is decidedly too middle of nowhere for my tastes. Come. Hmm. There, middle of somewhere. Hmm. <laughs> Nice decor. A house of hope, where the tired come to rest, and the famished come to feed lavishly. Go on, partake, enjoy your supper. After all, it might just be your last. Hmm. Cool. Well, Messi, say that. Ninth sense. What's better than a devil you don't know? <laughs> a devil you do. Am I a friend? Potentially. An adversary? Conceivably. But a savior? That's for certain. Hmm.
So, why would you help because me? Because my compassion is boundless. I stride among the needy, giving comfort where I can. And you're in dire need. One skull, two tenants, and no solution in sight. I could fix it all like that. Yeah. Hmm. I'll do anything to get rid of the tap. Oh, that's disappointing. I prefer it when my clients put up a fight. Only to realize victory was never an option. Try to cure yourself. Shop around. Beg, borrow, and steal. Exhaust every possibility until none are left. And when hope has been whittled down to the very marrow of despair, that's when you'll come knocking on my door. Hope. <laughs> Such a tease. Hmm. I'll have the last laugh in the end. I've always wondered what a laughing mind flayer sounds like. All those pretty little symptoms, sundering skin, dissolving guts, they haven't manifested yet, have they? One might say, Sorry, baby. you're a paragon of luck. Yeah. I'll be there Very when well. it runs out. Well, that was fun. Hmm. What's that? I just happen to have a shovel. Up my butt. Save before I jump this. Um... There we Yeah, do the same thing. Taking position. No time for mercy. <laughs> I wonder, can she hit the one back there? No. Okay. Well then. So miss that one too. Got to move. Oh, he gets the opportunity of attack. My bad. Need to act fast. Hmm. 
<laughs> Man, square right in the face. Nothing important is ever easy. Another day, another mm, nope. Um, yeah, I thought it was a little short rest to let them. New horrors waiting for us. This must be where the gnolls attacked. The creature's eyes roll back in its head, equal parts bliss and agony. She'd eaten, feasted, and yet, looking into her eyes, you can see it wasn't enough. She's still hungry. You hear what comes next before you see it. The sharp snapping of bones and a yelp of pain as her body starts to twist and undulate. You watch with cold realization. This isn't the end of one life, but the start of another. Gnolls can spawn from the corpses of dying hyenas. We're gonna strike while it's still uh, vulnerable. You land a swift strike against her skull. She yelps, then goes still. As the life fades from her eyes, the Sorry, gnome within her one. dies too. Stillborn. Break them. What's the plan? Step forward. Not that didn't work. I will ascend. What lies within? Um, no. The fuck? Did I miss the thing or is it oh I aimed that the pile of blood she hit that instead? Let's grab what we can. Need to stay focused. Hmm. 
Uh, there better be a soft bedroll in my near future. We're gonna take everything they have. But, um. What the chest? Looks empty. Just another crate. Wait, did I pick the chest up? Just um, about new. I don't think I picked the chest up, but I figure out where the chest is. Not that one. I think I get back up to flop back over. Don't have the chest on me. <sighs> I fairly forget where the chest is. I thought the chest was around here. Hmm. Oh wait, no. I think that's up a little bit. I'm gonna go this way. Um. First things first. Uh, <laughs> now there's a bloody devil trailing after us. Well, this gets better and better. Shop around, he said. He seems sure we won't find anything. And he might be right. We've had no luck so far. Hmm. We'll have to cross that bridge when we get If we it. don't know what we're walking into, that bridge will collapse under us. The devil has a plan. He's playing with us. Gazador, my old master, liked to toy with people too. Let them think there was hope right until the end. Until he snatched it all away. Creatures like them don't play games. Unless they know they can win. Hmm. We're not just play things. We'll show them. Maybe, that. but he's not the only one spinning a web for us. This is no ordinary mind flare parasite. Who tampered with it, and why? What do they have planned for us? And why are we important enough that a devil comes knocking on our door? If we find those answers, oh, sorry, still. we might have a chance. Hey, Lucky. I suppose you want to hear about Cazador. 
Uh, no, not really. Oh, then what do you want? Uh, he wants to tell. I was everything before that is so long ago, it's ancient history, and everything. Um, that came I after, think it's better well, you stay in camp for a while. Oh, darling, I'm hurt. I thought we had something special. Please just stay here. I guess I'll spend my evenings lounging here while you do all the hard work. It sounds awful. Yeah, it's because I need to bring this douche over here. The devil with the silver tongue. An old fairy tale my father read to me. The kind with a hero, a villain, and a moral. Where are you going? Come back here. A farmer Ow. made a deal with the devil. So the story goes. In exchange for the farmer's dearest fruit, the devil granted him a bottomless coin purse. Hmm. The farmer's dearest fruit, naturally, was no apple nor peach, but his beloved daughter. We can learn a lot from fairy tales. Don't you think? Hmm. Yeah, I get Do to the not point. trust a devil. Is that plain enough? Refuse him no matter how tempting the offer. No matter how delicious the feast he lays out for you. The cost's always too great. Don't worry, I have no attention That's to That's because you still have hope. But when he becomes your last hope, remember this. He'll require of you only what you're least ready to part with. And then require more still. You might think you'd give up anything for a cure. But the devil won't take just anything. He'll take everything. That's nice. I was trying to get the you out. Of frontiers at your uh huh. Point. Like, That's enjoy me. A spirit. All right. Uh, I don't care. What do you want? You Spare do your... me a moment, if you please. I've something important to discuss with you. We've been traveling together for a while now, and it's just about time that I shared something with you it's a rather personal matter that i'll prefer to keep quiet but needs must when the devil drives i have no choice but to speak you see i have this condition very different from the parasite we share but just as deadly uh is it contagious no, no nothing like that now, if I fail to treat it, then the consequences would not be contained to me alone. What it comes down to is this. Every so often, I need to get my hands on a powerful magical item and absorb the weave inside. Yeah, your illness causes you to consume raw magic. I'm going to need some details. I can say no more on the matter. Not now, anyway. Just trust me when I say it's all of vital importance it's been days since i last consumed an artifact since before we were abducted it is time and by that i mean it's imperative that i find and consume strands of weave at the earliest possible juncture uh i fail to see why you need my help you've done fine without me so far a fair point However, until recently, I was able to rely on a supply of artifacts stored in my tower in Waterdeep. A supply that has now run dry. The reality of the matter is that a lone wizard with a chronic impairment such as my own is not in the most ideal of situations with regards oh. to self-defense. The manner of artifacts I need are not often found waiting patiently on a shopkeep's shelf. One usually has to lift them delicately from... Trap filled tombs or prize them from the hands of violent ne'er do wells. There'll be danger involved or great cost. Ah, eh, that's better than much. Oh, splendid. Bit of boldness will serve us well. As luck would have it, you're already primed to give me exactly what I need. 
Ага. Here you can have that. Now what's this? That's probably the spear misses the target the builder's next. In true strike. Thank you. Magic, it's like a lullaby that sings to sleep the demon inside. A metaphorical demon, I haste to point out, but no less dangerous. <laughs> and no less bound to wake up again to continue its ravages. Meh. Such is the nature of all monsters. Yeah. Glad to feel better. Your condition sounds unpleasant, too. Oh, it's not so bad once you get used to it. And, on the plus side, my tower in Waterdeep has never been so free of clutter. Hmm. Sincerely, though, I understand I ask a lot from you with few answers in return. But in time, all will be told. Ah, uh, don't match. <laughs> this condition of yours is very expensive. Obtained it in Waterdeep. Nothing there comes cheap. Mm hmm. Well, I needed him, any uh, that guy. Okay. Have you ever done a good deed just for the sake of it? I have performed deeds well and efficiently. Is this what you mm -hmm. mean? Mm, not exactly. But you answered my question. One horn, the stink of Avernus, Advocatus Diaboli. <sighs> well, I'll be God's damned. The Blade of Frontiers. Thought I'd shaken you for good. That'll teach me to underestimate you. So you're the devil we're hunting, Karlak, right? Bloody right. An honor to be chased by the Blade of Frontiers, but I... Ugh! A great heat roars through you, her heat, fiery as the hells. Then you're lost in visions of demonic armies as you tear through a landscape of fire and blood, the blood war. You saw it from above as the Nautiloid passed through Avernus. This woman was on the front line. What was that? Evidence. Proof that you're a devil. A gladiator in the Archdevil Zariel's army. I can explain. But it's a whole situation. If you just hear me out... Another vision. Karlak's blade raised, slicing through devils, Zariel's servants, as her eyes dart around, seeking escape. Her rage and desperation seep into you. She is a victim of the Blood War. Not an agent of it. She's trying to trick us. Don't believe her lies. You saw the truth. I never wanted to serve Zariel. I was enlisted in her army against my will. Forced to fight, and fight I did. When I saw an opportunity to get away, I took it. Finally home. Or near it anyway. You served her. That's enough to damn you! Huh. Hmm, be practical. She's infected, same as us, and powerful too. We could use her as an ally. He catches his breath and his lips straighten. Sheer dread twists his face. You don't know what you're saying! You're asking me to trust a devil! Huh, God, you're stubborn. Carla's not a devil, and you know it. 
Listen to sense now. I don't want this to end badly for either of us. You know monsters, right? Better than anyone. Look into my eyes. Can't you see I'm not what you think? Shit. You really are no devil, are you? I've... I've been deceived. Oh, thank the gods. Thought I was gonna have to take your head. <laughs> you would have died in the attempt. But there have been enough threats today. Truce then, eh? Aye. Truce. I'm Karlak. But you already knew that. And you are... I'm on Mega Jin. Well met, soldier. Nice to meet a friendly around here. It's been tough going so far. I may not be a devil, but I can put the Blade's reputation to work. How would you feel about helping me kill some evil bastards? Little background, if your moral compass needs something to point at. You already know I fought in the Blood War. I was good. Really good. It turns out, I've got a knack for killing demons. That made me a valuable asset. Zariel, the Archdevil herself, made me as her personal attack dog. I played along until I could get the fuck out of there. But devils don't like to lose their assets. <laughs> Zariel liked it so little. She sent a bunch of goons, so-called paladins of tear, to take me back. Problem is, I'm not going. Huh. So you want me to kill the people hunting you? Don't worry, I'll lead the charge. But I could use your help. There's a lot of them and only one of me. After that, we can team up. Take Faerun by the short hairs. Sound good? I like her. She looks like she could throw me over her shoulder and carry me to safety. Should the need arise. Let's do it. Fuck yes! They cornered me outside the toll house just up the hill. Doubt they've gone far after the scorching I gave them. Uh, hang on though. Looks like you've got enough backup at your side. Not sure there's room for me. I'll catch up with you when it's time to camp for now. But don't get to any of the fun stuff without me. Got it? Wait, 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 I wonder. You've been witness to a pantomime, I'm sorry to say. And I've played my part all too poorly. Ah, uh, someone set you up on Carlos Trail. I'll let you I know can who. say only this. Or Karlax. not the only one who's had a villain's knife held to their throats. What's that supposed to mean? The truth will out before you know it. One night soon when we make camp, the veil will be lifted, and I'll pay my penance. Uh. Intriguing. A chance to see a blade squirmish, perhaps. Mm, you don't know the half of it. Yeah, I was trying to go to camp waiting sure? for that. The blade stands at the ready. I'm sure I'll find and you in camp. Oh yeah, it didn't pause the world, so she's like she's probably I think back at camp. Ah, yeah, there she is. Hey, yeah. Come, we're heading out. Hell yes. Hey, good yeah, looking. Alright. Hmm, speak to the animals for the berserker. Yeah, you know, we'll do the berserker for. Her. No one stopped me yet. You can. Blood. This whole plane reeks of it. That will there we go. Of a fine day, won't it? I do not need awakening. My senses are sharp as steel. Hmm. What's that?
Um, there we are. I was gonna say, can I open it? Portal nearby. Save my game here. Please, no more. Leave us in peace and we shall leave you in kind. Cut the crap, Anders. I know what you are. Don't let her hurt us. Please, we just want to go home. Ah. Is he telling the truth inside? And well, that sucked. Nothing in his demeanor betrays him. Ah, uh, these people. Oh, ah, uh, you can drop the act. I know your servants. Certainly not. We serve Tyr, Lord of Justice, no other. Please, mercy. Half of us are badly injured, the other half dead. I admit, we ambushed you. An assignment from our gods, Tyr. We thought you a devil, and with your flames you proved us right. But Tyr will not consign us to our death. He is merciful. Leave us, and we'll leave you. Eh, yeah, enough of this shroud. I know who you there. Enough! I'll not play pretend any more. Karlak, you're going home in pieces if needs must. And you, you'll soon learn what it means to ally yourself with the likes of this garbage. The oh. furnace was never my home. It was my prison. I'm free now. And I'm never going back! <laughs> All right. Um, what should I do? Do the same thing. Hop over me blocking the entrance. Wabam! You in the face. Sometimes the only way out is through. Uh, you... Order. Ah! Oh, the, the half damage there. Damn. Come to me, friend. I had 60 some odd fucking health. Oh, 
take all your shit. is concentrating. What's she gonna do? Jimmy on the go. Hmm. I'm never coming back. And if any of Mummy's little friends want to pick up where the others left off, they'll find nothing but a pile of mm. ash. Zariel's got to stop fucking with me, you know? I'm done with it. I'm done with her. I'm free! Whatever uh. comes, I'm ready. Action, not reaction. That took the edge off. <laughs> she's gonna stay up here where it's like somewhat safe as she's going on a frenzy right now Really? I'll lose HP. Ah, whatever. Ah! Whew. Had to let off a little steam after facing off with those ignots. Granted, the fire's lasting a little longer than it should. How do I look? Careful, soldier. If I burn any hotter. I might explode. <laughs> Hear that? Infernal engine for a heart. Let's me burn as hot as the hells. Seems to be running in overdrive since I left Avernus. Won't be seeing my mechanic anytime soon, so I'll just make the most of the extra heat. Just don't get too close. 
till I found a way to calm it down. Huh. Oh, I met someone who might be able to help, a smith who worked in the house for well, a time. Now, maybe I could make his acquaintance. A titan screw or two might let me keep a little calmer. Maybe even manage a pat or bump without burning someone to death. It's been a long time. Let's go find your friend before I blow a gasket. Lead on. Mm hmm. But first, what we need to do is. Oh, yeah, Burrell's backpack. Oh, it's already. Yeah, go over here. Flowers, leaves, grass. Can't beat it. I was raised in the city. I'm more used to feeling cobblestones underfoot than grass and fallen leaves. Before I went to Avernus, I'd have agreed with you. Nothing quite like Baldur's Gate, is there? Nothing in my recollection, anyway. Really? Well then, guess we'll try again. To that. Oh, I know because I'm gonna need it. Lying in wait for an ambush. <sighs> you can take a day off once in a while, Lazel. Do you wish it was a fast travel that was closer? Even if we'll go stupid, such a thing were feasible. The one advantage an elf holds over a Yip Yanki. Hmm. Open the gates. Oh my god. Talk to Buddy over there. Also, I should check to see where my inventory is at. Probably have to sell some stuff soon. Can I just no. Mother Gretel is still here? She is. Thought I sensed an infernal around here. But you aren't from Elterel. What's your story? I spent a good bit of time in the house. Enlisted against my will by the Archdevil Zariel. Same as you, I suppose, if you're from Elturel. The devils were delighted when your city was swallowed up. I thought they had you for keeps. Glad you got out. I got lucky. It looks like you did too. And... You brought some infernal machinery with you. A little gift from Zariel. 
keeps me burning hot. Very hot by the smell of it. Might be burning out a piston ring or leaking oil. Mind if I take a listen? Be my guest. But don't get too close or your eyes will melt shut. You... You really are burning up. Whoever put that engine together tried to house metallurgized demono valves inside a Ragnax alloy casement. Very risky. Huh. I might be able to help. I'd need infernal iron. And a prayer that my hammer will survive the work. That thing isn't meant to operate outside of Vernus. I'm not sure how much longer it'll keep running the way it's going. Will you be able to turn down the temperature a little? Worried I'm gonna go in for a handshake and singe someone's arm off one of these days. I'd worry about surviving the night first. But help one, help both. If we can cool you off, it'll stabilize your engine and allow you to touch whomever you please. Hey, soldier. I think we picked up some of that infernal iron already. What say you? Should I give it to him? Absolutely. Let's see what he can do. Please let this work. Mm. The weight of it. And that blaze of chaos. Can't imagine this where my heart should be. Must be quite the experience. Give me just a moment. Okay. And I think. There. You'll have to install it, I'm afraid. I don't think there are thick enough gloves in all the realms to protect you that kind of idiot. That feels... Good. I'm still burning hot as hell's hole, but I feel less... Changeable. Cheers, mate. Pleasure. And as for the heat, I haven't got any solutions now, but I'm not giving up. Could be if the combustion chamber had its own insulation, or if we had some kind of enchanted coolant. Find me again in Baldur's Gate. If I'm worth my salt, I'll have figured something out by then. Take care, Karlak. And hopefully the next time I see you, I'll have something promising to report. Pocket any infernal iron you find along the way, hmm? <laughs> All right. I miss my forge. Damon's upgrade didn't cool me down, but it did juice me up. I don't think I've ever felt more powerful. Hmm. Find some evil for you to smash. Oh, we'll have to find some more infernal iron to get you that second upgrade. Sooner rather than later would be good. I feel like I'm burning serious fuel. Huh. Let's find you something to burn then. That's what I like to hear. Now, let's trot. Standing still is making my skin itch. <laughs> All right, well, I think that's a good stopping point. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the live stream, and I will catch everybody later.